well, leave it to Apex Legends to release a collection event in the midst of a security breach where it seems like the game might not even be safe to play. I don't know, but I do want to make mention of not only an update that we have from the hacker, which responded once again, by the way, also some devs giving in their insight as well, and then the collection event and patch notes and some nerfs and buffs that we have in today's video. Honestly, a lot to dive into and discuss in this one. So if you guys want to stay up to date with what's going on in the Apex Legends news world, like the video, subscribe to the channel, and ladies and gentlemen, let's dive into what's going on. So if you guys have not seen already, I guess I won't really dive into it too much. The hacker news is really getting annoying at this point. I'm ready to go past it, but that crunch got an article as well and a little bit of an interview with this hacker. And he basically said that he did all of this for fun just to show Respawn how exploitable this stuff was. And that he chose Jen Burton and Imperial House specifically because he knew they weren't cheaters. And obviously people were going to still respect them. And he thought it would be a good boost of traffic for their channels because they were genuinely nice guys. But Apex also had some developers like Tyler Owens come out, say, please know that a lot of folks across various teams have been working extremely hard in response to this the last few days we care deeply about this game and we know you guys do too also i'm super thankful for pirate software and voices like this who take on the difficult work of educating others about the complexity of being a game dev it takes an immense amount of knowledge patience and communication skills and empathy but has real world positive impacts it's important to know ea has multiple parties involved in this they do not plan to let these hackers off the hook just because they were nice they are still actively investing investigating it on a personal level and it is going to cost them a lot of money which they will have to give a public statement to their shareholders as well and it's just not going to be good for ea so as i mentioned before they are probably going to start cutting all these loose strings as well and everything that probably could be a security breach is now just going to be one and they're going to probably just cut tides with a lot of stuff anyways let's dive into the new event the shadow society collection event patch notes came out today we've got new heirloom new limited time mode new store updates skins and tracker rewards balance updates with weapons and all kind of stuff to go through and it is a long one they actually made a lot of changes which is crazy because they still had the tournament that didn't even get to finish from the last one and now you're going to implement all these nerfs and buffs and stuff i don't really know what they plan to do about that but they did still take it to twitter and show that their collection event is here they're promoting it as normal as if nothing else to be worried about right now but i don't know first thing we need to talk about is this new limited time mode it is called lockdown and here's the description hold fast with your squad and defend your domain in lockdown it honestly sounds pretty sick the first First four squad free for all battle for dominance squads will spawn in with a standard tdm loadout and seek out for capture zones which will periodically spawn throughout the small mayhem filled maps and thunderdome skull town zoo station and monument will also be included here earn points by capturing zones holding them uncontested and eliminating other players the first squad to 500 points wins the game then you've got the apex artifact cobalt qatar uh, this thing does look sick i'm not gonna lie probably one of the better heirlooms and it is a universal heirloom by the way so yes you will actually be able to get this for every legend that you play and i do think they're probably going to start taking this approach more often just because there's more money involved right it's not like a legend specific everybody can feel like they can buy it and you can actually use it what was interesting though is i did have a lot of people saying that we should go dislike the trailer on youtube we should completely boycott this event after alpha intel had posted all 36 items including the cobalt qatar apex artifact can be acquired via the shadow society event packs with no duplicates of event items complete your collection before the event ends and you'll automatically receive the cobalt qatar's matching death box cosmetic as well a lot of people believe ea is wanting respawn to take this route because there's more money involved the events are a little bit more expensive and there's more content to them or i should say more skins to them not really content but i do remember complaining not long ago that we weren't getting lt with a lot of these events so i am happy that we are at least getting some actual content which is this lockdown ltm mode i think the craziest thing though is just posting this like there's not a massive hack going on that we still need answers to you can also see the legendary skins on screen now and i'm not gonna lie these are probably some of the best that respawn have done they do look really good in my opinion very clean very sleek and very smooth i really like them a lot we've also got some milestone rewards some reward shop pictures and stuff and it all looks pretty fair and dandy but the biggest thing that we needed to make mention of were the following let's touch on these balance updates starting it off with some of these patch notes regarding the care packages the first set of care packages number one care package weapons have been removed so no longer are you getting weapons in the first set of care package which is needed because this was crazily overpowered getting a kraber at the beginning of the game when people are still with white armor is just wild however in their place they're now going to be gold weapons so it's going to be a gold r301 re45 mass of devotion or 3030 instead of the kraber bow wingman whatever the case may be 
Now, I do still think that this is a little crazy, but it's much better than the care package where I've been spawning. So I do like this change overall. Second and third set of care packages are unchanged. You're still going to get those guaranteed weapons and stuff. The assault rifle and marksman rifle spawn rates have now been normalized per zone as well. Then we get into some weapons, nerfs, and buffs. Number one, the car SMG from season 20 launch. It missed this in the patch though. So this one's not really a change, but the ADS vertical recoil was slightly increased. A change to the EVA 8 in the care package. The blast pattern has now been tightened. The initial projectile size has been increased and improved handling and reduced ammo reserves to 64 and it was 96. So a little bit of nerve, a little bit of buffs. So let me know what you guys think. Rampage also got a change where the energized time was slightly reduced to better match the animation and the wingman in the care package also got changed where the ammo reserves was decreased to 72 instead of 90. A little bit of a nerf. Can no longer equip the digital threat. That was already changed anyway and optic is no longer locked and can be replaced now we move into the legends number one ballistic so the upgrades got a little bit of a change the ammunition has been completely removed from the game the lasting bullet was moved down to level two and the new speedy whistler which is a successful hit with tactical gives a two second burst of speed that's going to be a level three then we move on to bangalore the rolling thunder cooldown has been increased to 4.5 minutes instead of four minutes the smoke launcher is going to be getting a change as well with a cooldown was increased to 35 seconds instead of 33 they no longer deal damage either which is kind of a big change in bangalore in my opinion smoke duration has also been decreased to 11 seconds instead of 18 smoke particles now dissipate faster bangalore nerfed 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 the big bang upgrade has now been removed and there is a new one for tactical cooldown which reduces the tactical cooldown by five seconds and then there's an upgrade at level three which has some changes as well number one the cover me upgrade is an auto ping no longer tracking the player who triggered double time and then refuge where the heal rate was increased to 3.5 hp per second instead of 3 hp per second then we move on to bloodhound as well with some upgrades and here are some changes with bloodhound the upgrade for odin's glare has been moved to level two and the tactical cooldown was moved to level three gas daddy caustic also got some changes where the gas damage now increases by one on each tick and down players will still only receive five per tick the gas slow effect now only applies on first damage tick for two seconds and then the upgrades also got some changes here where the particle diffuser was now moved to level three and residual toxins was moved to level two conduit also got some changes here where basically the cooldown increased to 31 seconds instead of 26 seconds the regen interruption delay time has also been decreased to two seconds instead of one fuse also got some changes here with the upgrades of reckless explosive damage is now reduced by 50 percent instead of 25 percent lifeline also with some changes here the upgrades of level two the tactical cooldown has now been removed the new tactical cooldown plus plus allows the tactical cooldown to be reduced by 25 seconds making the cooldown time equal to its deployment duration so you always have the dock upgrades at level three have also been changed with gift wrap removed and the new gold plated next package spawns with golden gear oh so that gold gear could be an evo cash gold knockdown shield or gold backpack as well and it also contains one battery one med kit and either a phoenix kit or a mobile respawn beacon octane also got some changes here with his upgrade known as reckless the explosive damage has now been reduced by 50 percent instead of 25 pathfinder also got some changes with an upgrade of zipline zen the damage reduction was increased to 50 percent instead of 25 percent revenant also got some changes where the knocks no longer refresh the tactical during the ultimate and tactical cooldown is no longer shorter than the ultimate and the ultimate cooldown has been increased by 60 seconds that's a big one and then upgrades also got some changes here inside of revenant where the agile assassin has been removed the tactical cooldown was removed to level three the new ultimate cooldown reduces the ult cooldown by 30 seconds and that is a level two upgrade seer also got some changes where the focus of attention was decreased the activation delay to 1.2 seconds instead of 1.4 seers also got some upgrade changes here where the artist reach was moved to level two the long view upgrade was moved to level three racing hearts has also been removed but not entirely because it was just integrated into the base tactical and then there's a new ultimate cooldown which reduces the ult cooldown by 30 seconds at level two honestly i was kind of worried that they were going to start taking this approach where the upgrades were going to be less specific and niche and they're going to start just being cooldown reductions and whatever i guess it's cool i guess it's something but also we got to lastly mention wraith she's got some changes where her tactical cooldown was moved to level three and her ultimate cooldown was moved to level two then we get into some map changes the map rotation are going to be for pubs storm point olympus and broken moon for ranked it's going to be storm point olympus and world's edge here's the picture of the mixtape playlist and honestly the only thing that really matters to me is that skull town is coming back for gun run now we already talked about the new ltm 
lockdown, but three strikes also got an update where the revive time was reduced to two seconds. The players are revived with 100% health and zero shields, and the new minimum guaranteed loot system ensures you respawn with a competitive version of your loadout and inventory as well. Mixtape also got some changes here where the control players are respawning on the mobile respawn beacon enter a skydive when they exit the drop ship. So instead of free falling down as they previously did, I kind of like that. Kill replay also now exists, but of course they made some changes with this where it'll now show the hit markers and the damage numbers when you're watching the kill replay. Also, round winning replays will show the killer's banner. They also go through to say that they fixed some bugs, some world system issues, some quality of life changes, and I'll leave the full link to the patch notes down below if you guys wanna go review them. But honestly, these were the big ones. And the big thing I wanna make mention of is, yes, this is all fine and dandy. You got an event coming out and you're making mid season updates, that's great. But if you guys watch my ALGS channel, you're gonna definitely see us gripe and complain about one specific thing in all of this there were tournaments that were supposed to be taking place on the previous patch specifically the north american regional finals there were different legend metas these whole bangalore nerfs were non-existent and now this is going to definitely shake things up how do they plan to keep things fair keep things balanced and i'm assuming and i'm hoping that they decide to play that tournament on the old patch because to me launching a, an entire collection event like this in the middle of a tragedy of this whole security breach issue is a crazy crazy thing but nonetheless I will say these patch notes do look pretty good. I like the LTM. I like the Bangalore nerfs, but interested to see what you guys have to say down in the comment section below. Like the video, subscribe if you want to stay up to date with what's going on in the world of Apex Legends news. And until the next time, we will see you all later, Gators.